Today on the channel, we head back to the 90s for the brand new Marvel Legends X-Men 97 cartoon line with Wolverine and Magneto. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review. And today on the channel from the X-Men 97 line, we've got Magneto and we've got Wolverine. But for all your X-Men needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code ADOFFDJC to save 8% off your entire order. Got to get a deal out there. And that's exactly where I got this set from. And we got Magneto and Wolverine today. Two all-timers, of course. Wolverine, my favorite X-Men. And Magneto, maybe my favorite uh, X-Men villain. I'd have to sit and think about it for a little bit. But no doubt about it, like both of these ones, I love the X-Men animated series from the early 90s. I was all about that series. When Disney Plus first became a thing, that was the first thing I did is I watched every single episode in a row. I got to watch my with my daughter she enjoyed it as well and i'm here for that new series i think coming in 2024 so i'll definitely be checking that one out no doubt about it and very cool to get new figures here from the core x-men group i guess we could say and we've had a lot of these figures in the past there's been no shortages of magnetos definitely no shortages of wolverine but now we get them with a little bit of a twist and turns we get the pinless joints we get some of that fun stuff so there is a little newness here of course new packaging style and we know how it goes hasbro wants every dollar out of our wallet they're going to turn and burn on these characters over the years they got to get it out there's new generations of fan new collectors that missed out on this wolverine in the past well now they get another shot at it so it makes a lot of sense but of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there, and I guess we're going to go bad guys first. We're going to start off with old Magneto here today. A little bit of a weight to Magneto, or maybe it's just the heavy plastic and the heavy cardboard on this one. But I do like this very retro card style, of course, with the new X-Men 97 twist to it. Reminds us of the Spider-Man figures, things like that. But you got the little nice glamour shot of Magneto there. You got his name, X-Men 97 logo. You got the characters up in the corner as well. Looking pretty good here on the back of the package. You got a little glamour shot there. You got the cross sell. Of course, we're unboxing all these on the channel. So make sure you subscribe to this very YouTube channel. You got Magneto on the side, jibber jabber at the bottom. No blurb, nothing else going on. But you do got Bishop, you do got Gambit, you do got Storm, Rogue, Magneto, and Wolverine in this set. I'm not sure. Will we do a rankings video at the end? I guess I could. We'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But it is Marvel Legends series. Uh, brand new for 2023. So we're here for it. But let's get him out of the package. See what all the fuss is about with old Magneto if I can get him out of the package. There we go. We're gonna slide him on out. Oh, we're losing stuff. We got stuff. Spider-Man style. Bam. See you later off the screen. There it is. X-Men 97. See you later. Goodbye. All right. We did lose one hand out of the package. We do got Magneto in the plastic prison looking good, looking fierce, looking evil. And Magneto, you know, he goes both ways. Sometimes he's good. Sometimes he's bad. Depends on the day, like a lot of us. Like a lot of us out there. We're going to choose good. See you later. We're going to choose evil. You just never know, especially with a guy like Magneto. Uh, and this really does feel like home. Feels very similar to other Magneto figures we've had in the past. But he does got two gripping hands, or I should say more splayed out gripping hands. Kind of maniacal hands out of the package. And then we do get the two fists of fury. Because when the magnets stop working, the fists come out for old Magneto. But Magneto, looking classic here. You got the purple cape going on. You got the purple belt. The purple tights. Then you got the trim there on the forearms and the feet and all that in purple. And then you got the red underneath all that. The red and purple iconic Magneto. Magneto helmet all day long looking like Magneto. There's no mistake in this guy for anybody else. You got a lot of darkness underneath his eyes. So he chose to be bad here today is what he chose. But you got the darkness under the eyes. Uh, the helmet is not removable on this one. I think a lot of us would have liked a removable helmet. But wouldn't be shocked to see another version down the line. And we've got Magneto heads in the past without helmets. So I guess if you're a customizer, you're just one that wants to swap things around, you could easily do that if you really wanted to. You do get a cape with him. Of course, we're rocking cape season year-round, thanks to our friend Lando and Magneto. He is here for it as well. 
This cape does plug into the back. It's got a little uh, G.I. Joe style peg hole there, but the cape is not removable at all. So it would have been nice to kind of have a removable cape, uh, but you don't really see him without his cape very often. Another option would have been a soft goods cape, but we don't see a lot of that, really any of that in the Marvel Legends line as we do know. But it is Magneto at the end of the day, and if uh, people didn't get that three pack back in the day, what was it, the, uh, the Magneto family three pack? That might even have been a GameStop exclusive. Uh, there was a couple other Magnetos, but we haven't got a classic, classic Magneto which this kind of represents in quite some time. So I'm here for it. I think a lot of collectors are here for this as well. Uh, articulation on this one, of course, head, back, forth, side, side. I got to assume head removable, head removable. There you go. So if you want to mix and match, switch some guys around, do that kind of stuff, you definitely can do that. Arms go all the way around. You are a little bit limited by his cape, but you can move out of the way, things like that. You do get a bicep cut. And then what's really nice is the old double pinless elbows on this guy i'm here for this double jointed pinless elbows all day oh that's my war cry right there hands removable back far side to side waist articulation yep we got waist articulation but you notice it does kind of uh, make that belt a little strange so if you do keep this in a pose you're probably going to stretch out this belt is what you're probably going to do so uh, buyer beware on that one you do got a nice ab crunch on him a lot of movement out of that ab crunch no doubt about it Big ol' splits for Magneto if you need them. He does got the thigh cut. You do got double-jointed pinless knees. The hits being played repeatedly here at the table. And then you get ankles back four side to side, of course. Uh, peg holes in the bottom. Will he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. And what do you know? Magneto fits on the stand perfectly right there. Uh, another thing that's missing with this Magneto, I felt like we really should have with all Magneto figures, is uh, effect pieces. We should have some of those effect pieces. He's known for that. That would make a lot of sense. And I do got a Magneto here, a prior version of Magneto. Very similar, but very different at the same time. Very, very similar. A, a nicer, friendlier head on this one without the darkness going on. A bigger kind of cape there. And then, of course, the effect pieces. Almost a bluish purple on this one. It's a straight up purple on this. I'm definitely not a ton of meat on the bone between the two. It's just here's the updated new shiny model, the pinless joints, all that fun stuff. But if you're like me, we got a lot of X-Men shelves going on, and you could probably use a few magnetos in your collection for each shelf. That's where I'm going to go with this one here. I'll probably build out the X-Men 97 shelf, have all those guys and gals together on display but there it is old magneto x-men 97 it's a good uh, upgrade we'll call it that but now we're going to turn attention to my favorite we're going to turn attention over to wolverine and to me the classic wolverine costume i always think of this i remember when i first started reading wolverine comic books as a kid he was more in this outfit here which was always really kind of strange for me i was like uh, i thought this was wolverine's like main debut costume because that's where i came into wolverine then you find out beforehand he used to wear something like this and then he went back to this more updated uh shortly after i started reading comics so it was a weird kind of time frame but it's weird that i came into wolverine with the brown costume as the first experience really with wolverine as a kid but it is what it is so there it is wolverine same packaging design except we get a little glamour shot of old logan on the side right here looking good you got wolverine big bubble window x-men 97 the glamour shot of the team up there we got wolverine on the back we got the cross cell we got the jibber jabber we don't got any blurbs we don't get anything like that so without further ado, we're going to get down to business. We're going to get old Wolvie, get old Wolvie out of the package here. And I'm excited for this. I always like a Wolverine figure. We're losing all of our pieces out of the package. Spider-Man style, see you later. There that goes. See you later as well. And then we get a little plastic prison for old Wolverine looking really good here. I'm excited for this one. And we've had a lot of Wolverine figures, as we all know. So it's tough to get up for a lot of Wolverines. We get one pretty regularly. See you later. Goodbye. Uh, but this one is going to be pretty fun. I can feel it and see it already out of the package. A good looking figure here. Of course, got the two Fists of Fury with the uh, claws ready to go, ready to battle, ready to take on Magneto. And we know how that battle went back in the day. In my young reading days, I'll never forget it when Wolverine got the adamantium sucked out of him by Magneto. In all time story arc, if I had to list like my five favorite story arcs of all time, that very well could be in there i absolutely loved that story i was on the edge of my seat or probably my bed uh reading that comic book as a kid uh definitely one that stuck with me but you got the adamantium claws going on there but then you do get the two fists of fury here the retracted claws depending how you want to display this wolverine much like magneto we've had a lot of versions of this one i could see some people saying i'm going to display this with the mask off with the mask down maybe the mast head there's a lot of different options with this wolverine which makes it a must-have figure because we got so many you could display the different looks 
So I really like the ideas here. But let's dive into this now. Of course, for this Wolverine right here is the unmasked head on him. You do get the cowl. So you stick that behind his head. It looks like he's getting ready to pull that back up over his face. Ready to go. Ready to turn into a true Wolverine here. We've seen these in the past as well, so not a lot of newness there. But we do get the two heads here, and we get the straight-up Logan head going on. Got the big old button chops going there. Love those sideburns. And then you got the big hair on the side. Very, very cool. Very iconic Wolverine. There's no doubt about it. Somebody hands me this head. I know who this is all day long. I know it's Wolverine. And same thing with this head. We get the iconic Wolverine as well. Got the big kind of bat wings. You ever see that picture where if it's like you look at it, it looks like two Batman kissing or something like that? <laughs> kind of what it reminds me of still. I got the yellow on the nose, the yellow over the top, and the big wings of the face. And then they, they did kind of dot in some stubble. It just almost looks like paint imperfection. So I almost would have rather not had that stubble or maybe a little bit more stubble on this one, I guess. Choose your own stubble adventure at the end of the day. Uh, but straight up, both of these, you know who this is all day long. You know this is Wolverine. There's no doubt about it. I'm not sure where I'm leaning either. I'm not sure how I'm going to display this one. Uh, articulation on this Wolverine. He's got the big butterfly shoulders, which is always great for a Wolverine character. Arms all the way around. You do get the bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows. Hands back, forth, side to side. Hands removable. Perfect time to talk about the claws. I don't mind these claws. These are very similar to the... Uh, uh, animated series retro card ones we got we'll compare here in a little bit but definitely do look good uh, some of those early marvel legends claws man pretty brutal this is definitely an upgrade from those head back forth side to side head removable and you get a big old look up there of course you can have them displayed flying through the air if you need to ab crunch on this one of course waist crunch once again that makes the belt move so if you move this one your belt could if you keep this there kind of get a little dislodged so make note of that you know if you want to uh, you do get the big old splits out of Wolverine here. You do get a thigh cut. Once again, double jointed, pinless knees. I'm here playing those hits. I'm here for it all day long. You do get the boot cut, ankles, back, forth, side to side. And I do assume he will fit on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. Make sure you do get the Mattel stands at the end of the day. What do you know? Fits perfectly right there. Looking really good. I like the vibrant yellow. I love the black. And then you got a, a little bit more of a dull, flat blue color against this, which sometimes we see bright, sometimes we see flat. It's just kind of all over the place. But a really good Wolverine. This is the Wolverine you could set your watch to. You could almost say it's the ultimate Wolverine in some ways, at least for this costume. Doesn't get much better. Of course, this is the brand new shiny toy, so it should be top of the line. But you do get the double jointed elbows and then you get the pinless joints. I'm here for that all day. And I did talk about some Wolverines from earlier. We did get this animated series Wolverine, uh, the retro cell shaded uh, one. Very similar to this one, of course, as you can see, but you got the pins and the joints on this one. So there is some differences, but boy, oh boy, I think I'm still taking this one over this one. I do like this one, though, and it's on my cell-shaded uh, shelf is what it is. And then we got another Wolverine, an unmasked one. I think this was from the last Marvel Legends retro wave. I want to say about two years ago this one came out. Still a really good figure, kind of the X-Men training costume. We got all those figures in kind of those training costumes from the Jim Lee era. Definitely a good Wolverine to have as well, but really... This one very well could be my favorite Marvel Legends Wolverine. I'd have to sit there and think about it, but it doesn't get much better with all the new bells and whistles, the removable hands, the extra heads to choose your own adventure. A very, very good Wolverine. I would definitely recommend picking this one up. There's no doubt about it. Even if you aren't into the X-Men 97 line, you're not into the cartoon, you need a good Wolverine in your collection, you can't go wrong with this one. There's no doubt about it. Magneto, uh, definitely a good upgrade. Not going to be for everybody, but for me, it did warrant the purchase at the end of the day. But what say you guys and gals? You picking these up? How do you feel about this set? Uh, how do you feel about the future of this line? Are you all in on the cartoon? Did you enjoy the cartoon? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you on the Patreon. Patreon, you do get early access to both channels' videos. We got two YouTube channels. You get the videos early on Patreon, of course. Support the channel over there on ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and on Threads. So for Wolverine and Magneto, and don't forget X-Men 97 too, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.